All right, guys, if you are here, you saw my fall favorites, part one. I showed you guys everything but clothing. I showed you home decor, candles, good smelling things. I'm kind of like looking around because it's stuff. I showed you the books I would like to read in the fall, the bookmarks I use, the book sleeves, accessories, headbands, scarves, handbags, all those good things. And I noticed it was getting to the half hour mark, and I still had tons of clothes to show you guys. So I'm going to make fall favorites part two, all clothing, a separate haul. You guys will see these things again in separate try-on hauls. I think I'm going to do it by store. Or you guys let me know what you think about that. But I'm going to get right in and I'm going to show you the first six items are from a store I've never bought from before that I'm so, so glad I did. Um, they are Maurice. I think that's how you say it. M-A-U-R-I-C-E. I have heard of them. I just never bought from them. My mom used to get a catalog sent to our house from them. Remember back in the day when people shop by catalog? Because they are a plus size brand. And I don't know, my mom might have bought from them. But they just never like were in my radar because they don't have like a physical store. Um, and then an influencer I like on Instagram, a plus size one, Rosie B. Me. If I remember, I'll link it down below. If I don't link it and you guys want to know who she is, let me know. I will link it. And she shared a bunch of things from Maurice. And I went, oh, my God, these items are so cute. They're not super expensive. They're not super duper affordable like my Target Old Navy. But I decided to splurge, and I'm so glad I did. So I have not worn any of these yet, so you're going to see tags. But the fabric feels amazing. They look like they're definitely true to size. The prints are adorable. And sweaters in general are a fall favorite for me. So let's get into the first three items, right? Yes. They are a dupe to a brand. I can't think of the name right now. It is a very expensive sweater company. The sweaters go for over $100. And it's like a male's name. You know, like Neil Patrick Harris. It's like one of those three names. And I think the abbreviation is KJP. If you guys know what I'm talking about, let me know down below. But they are known for their themed sweaters. I wanted one that was apples that they had for the fall. <coughs> Especially because I'm a teacher. I thought it was so cute. But I would never in my life spend over $100 on a sweater. I dropped about 30 something on these each. Like, I think it was like 33 because it was like a sale. And that was already pushing it for me. So the first one, do they have the regular price on them? Yeah. See, the regular price of this was $44.90. I got a 4X since that's what I generally get at Old Navy and um, Target. And it's this really cute brown color. It has like the little turtleneck vibe, but not super turtleneck. And it has these really cute cream leaves guys this with the cream boots i showed you in video one and some jeans oh my god and that's the one thing sometimes sweaters can like be itchy especially when you buy them cheap so i read the reviews everyone was saying how soft they were had to get them and they do feel incredibly soft and they cinch at the wrist you guys know i love that that's the first one this one is an exact dupe like literally uh maurice could be sued how is she even saying that because KJP, I think that's the name, has this exact sweater, guys. Exact. But for like a third of the price. How cute is that design? I love it. And this one is definitely fall. Like, this is not the other one's fall, too. It's not Halloween. It's just these really cute pumpkins. I usually do do a dress for Thanksgiving. I like to dress up a little bit more. But I am thinking about doing a dress and then this over the dress. And then if I get hot, take it off. But definitely Thanksgiving vibes. I love it. This one is definitely more Halloween-y. But I had to have it. Again, the regular price on these $45. I got them for $30 something. I will link them. And it is the ghost. And I love that the base is white. It even says feel good fashion for real life. Oh, this is so soft. I can't now I'm like dying for it to cool down. And I am a summer girly. And it is officially fall on Saturday. So when you guys are seeing this, fall's already here. But it has not been that cold in mass. Um, I haven't been wearing my dresses. I have been wearing pants, but not cold enough for this yet. And I cannot wait. And then we have a sweatshirt. This isn't necessarily fall or Halloween whatsoever. I can wear this year round. But it definitely has those fall vibes. You guys know uh, checkered print is in right now. I love the brown checkered print. I love that it's two different patterns. And again, cinches at the wrist. This one was probably the more expensive one because sweaters on, were on sale. <laughs> and technically, this was a sweatshirt, so it wasn't on sale. But I wanted to get it. Sweatshirts are my favorite. I love the trim at the bottom. It even has slits. 
had really good reviews so i picked it up all right and then i picked up two cardigans um one is more halloweeny vibe the other one's more fall but you know you could wear both for halloween this one is the black cats how cute is that with the little jack-o-lanterns oh my god i'm wearing this soon because if i get hot i can just take it off right yes i might do that with one of my Halloween shirts tomorrow or something. We shall see. And then this one could definitely still be Halloween because it's then orange and black in it. But it's just plain pumpkins. So I could definitely wear this out past Halloween if I really wanted to. So, <laughs> so that is the items from Maurice. Now I have an item from Bloom Sheet. I have a few items. But this specifically is definitely more of a Halloween look. You guys know I have been loving Bloom Sheet. And this one is just as soft. And I want to say this one was about 20 something dollar. And it is a spider web cardigan. This one does have buttons. The Maurice ones do not. It is more of that open style cardigan. But it does have pockets, the Maurice ones, where the bloom sheet does not. So, oh wait, I'm lying. It does. And oh, yes, I will link it down below. I actually have a Cobra bloom sheet. <laughs> so I will link that down below as well. Now, I'm going to show you guys some shirts, including the shirt I am wearing. I did an Amazon t-shirt haul. Oh, my God, guys. I got, like, 17 new subscribers from that video. That's what helped me hit the 1K. I got tons and tons and tons of views on it. It's over 600 views. Insane. It was, like, a quick last-minute video that I filmed before I had to head out. To see Joe's family for, that came down from California. I cannot believe. Like I did not think that was going to blow up. And it did. And it was these these t-shirts. They were all under $20. All went up to 6X. I am wearing the 6X. This one is nice and oversized. It's huge. I even have it tucked in the front. These are 6X as well. They are definitely loose. But they're not as loose as this one. I am only showing you two more. Or three more. But I will link the full haul down below if you want to see all of them. But this one says read more books because you guys know I love to read and he's holding a little book. I got two that were teacher themed. So this one says trick or teach. And it's a ghost holding a pencil and I love the checkered background. Like I said, these I got all in a 6X because I wanted them to be oversized. This one I could wear year round, but it definitely has Halloween vibes. And it's, I'll just wait until it's quiet. And you get it? She waited forever and died. Because <laughs> students are never quiet. And you can tell it's supposed to be like a teacher, has the, the board in the background. Love that. And then this one is definitely more Halloween-y because it even says spooky season. But it is super feminine and super cute. I love the designs of that. So like I said, I will link those down below. If you want to see all the t-shirts, go check out that t-shirt haul. I will link that down below. Now, I want to show you guys two Old Navy things I got recently. Again, technically, I have not worn this. I'm being straight up and honest with you. There is a tag. But I love shackets in the fall. And I have shackets from Old Navy. They're just packed away. I didn't want to wait to post this because it's fall is now. And I know you guys want to purchase these things while the wet, you know, while before it gets halfway into fall. You know what I mean? Sometimes I am very, like, behind and that's the reason why. So this is a shacket from Old Navy, size 4X. And it's basically like a button-down shirt that has a little more thickness to it. So you could wear it as a jacket if you wanted. I got it this really cute army green. It came in army green and it came in tan. This was about 50 bucks, but I got it with super cash. Um, I will link that exact one down below. If they still have the one that I was obsessed with last year, I will link that one down below as well. And now this. I have, I don't know if I have one of these from Old Navy. But I do have a tan one and a gray one from Target that I love. And it is basically these three-quarter zip little sweatshirts. I do not have one in a forest green. I don't know if it's technically forest green. No, nah, forest green's a lot darker, I think. <laughs> Army green. But I love green especially in the fall and i had some super cash so i bought the old navy version for myself i will link oh and i have slits i will link the old navy version and if i can find my target version they're still available i will link those down below as well i ordered <clears throat> a sweater dress from walmart 
This is by <coughs> Eloquy Elements. So it is a higher quality. Eloquy is a more expensive name brand plus size website. But they do a collection with all my... <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I've been talking a lot. I'm getting over a cold. And I, again, cannot talk about this one in general, but I love sweater dresses in general. And this is real working buttons. So if I wanted to make it like an open cardigan, I could. And it has a really cute tie, long sleeve, cinched wrist. I could have got this in either this orange or the blue. And orange definitely screams fall to me. Um, this one is definitely not as soft as the others. It's not like scratchy by any means. But I might wear a little tank top and biker shorts under this. Which I will wear biker shorts no matter what. To be honest with y'all. I always wear biker shorts under shorts. But yeah, I might throw a little tank top. And that is a size 26, 28. Cardigans. Again, you guys saw tons of cardigans from Maurice. Um, I love these button target cardigans. I have last year's version. I have it in like a really cute pink. I have it in a gray, a black. This fall, they had it available in a green. I feel like green is like the color of the season. Even this brighter green. And I love it on me. So she right now on my tan. I know that's going to fade. but And it has like a waffle print. Do you guys see this? Absolutely gorgeous. Or like the tortoise shell buttons so so soft extremely affordable so i wanted to show that to you guys comes in tons of different colors if you're not feeling the orange then we have an everyday normal sweater uh, i have a lot of target sweaters but i don't think i have any in brown i used to hate brown and lately i have been gravitating toward the browns and creams so i got myself a brown one this is by universal thread it is a forex nice and soft it just has this really cute detail around the neck and another little cute detail on the sleeves and on the trim. So that's just like an everyday sweater. This one, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is from the men's section. It's the men's big and tall. That is um, a place I do shop here and there. And it is a corduroy jacket. Well, it's actually a shirt. But I would probably wear it as like a jacket almost. And it is this beautiful green color. Joe actually loves this. I may reorder it in his size. Um, he was like, wow, that color is so cute. And I was like, Joe, that's men's. He's like, that's men's. He tried it on. It was way too big for him. So I might get it for him in the three. And then this is from Bloom Chic as well. I actually just filmed the reel in it. I have worn it a few times. I am obsessed with it. And it is just this really cute navy. Oh, yeah, navy blue is a color I used to like not like on me. Lately, I have not been giving myself rules. I'm just letting myself have fun with fashion, which that's the point. It has pockets. It has this really cute, like, wave pattern to it. Did I say wave? I meant weave. And it has buttons. It has, I think they call that a condom pocket. Joe looked at me like I had three heads. Isn't that what you guys know? Or is that just a in my area kind of thing? Or is that what they used to say in high school and I thought that was real? I don't know. Pen pocket? I don't know. But I, a lot of times, will wear it open, but it does fit me buttons. And it's just this really nice blue oversized shirt. Is that it? Oh, there's one more bag behind me. Wow. I do have a lot of stuff around me, but a lot of it was from part one. So definitely go watch part one if you're interested. Especially with the shoes and the handbags. You can see all the outfits I'm building. And then, anyway, another thing I love is flannels. So I'm going to be straightforward and honest. I ordered a bunch of flannels from Target. I was not impressed. You guys are going to see a Target haul. I am going to return a majority of them. The only one I ended up liking was from Wild Fable. Because it is actually oversized. The other ones are not oversized on me. I'm going to return them. And I thought to myself, why am I going to keep things and say 100% love them? I have more options now. There is more stores that sell my size now. So I got these two from Walmart. I have another four coming in from Old Navy. And another three coming in from Ann and Viv. So I think even though I am going to do separate store hauls, I think I am going to do a flannel haul. Just so you guys can see the differences between stores and brands and sizing and that's what i mean like a forex and one store can literally be huge and then another store be tiny as hell you just never know so these are the two i picked up from walmart it is their plus size line this is from terra and sky so if you are not plus size you cannot purchase these they do have it in other non-plus size brands but this is the only brand that really fits me at walmart 
Um, I have tried getting like the no boundaries and time and true, and they do technically go up to extra extra large, but it is not like a plus size. Like there's a difference between a one X and an extra extra large. There truly is. So Terran Sky is the only brand I buy at Walmart, which is unfortunate because it is affordable. I love Walmart, but for, they, I can only buy from Terran Sky. At least this brand exists. I'm very happy to have it in my collection. This one definitely screams fall to me with the mustard yellow, the um, orange, the brown, little touches of red. Love this. I love the little detail in the back. Can you guys see that? Where I think all, do all flannels have that? I'm not sure. But it is nice and lightweight, nice and soft. I will say the ones from Target are thicker and warmer, but not worth it to me because they don't fit me the way I want them to fit me. You guys will see it in that Target haul. Um, I don't know if it's up yet. Definitely consider subscribing. Check out my playlist. If it is up, I link it, but I don't think so. And I got these a size up. So I usually get, so the way, wait. Yeah, 5X. So I usually get a 4X, which with Terran Sky is a 26, 28. And I'm usually a 28. I didn't want to risk it because I want my flannel to be oversized. So I did the 5X 32, 34. Hopefully it's not too big. Like I said, you guys will be seeing a flannel haul and like specific store haul. But oh my God, this is so incredibly soft. And I love the pocket. And purple is my favorite color. I could not not get this. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't wait to compare and get the Old Navy ones in. And get the... Um, target ones in well it is target i already had target ones but they were like you know the standard universal thread and all that the ones i got i just ordered that haven't come in yet from anna and viv and anna and viv again is their plus size line and i might have ordered a size up i am not sure but excuse me the universal thread and all the other brands i can't order a size up 4x is the max and i'm generally the 4x like with this Amazon, I was so happy that they had it in six and I was able to get it oversized. Just so you guys can see, it will be in my outfits of the week. Oh, you guys really can't see. I can't back up more. But I have it. It's so loose. I have it tucked in the front. And it is such a cute look. I love it. I have never been able to tuck a shirt in the front and have this loose, billowy fabric. Because usually when I buy things, it's loose. Because I don't like things tight. But not this loose. So I was so happy to find these in sizes 6X under 20 bucks like i said i will link that haul down below what was the other what was the other haul i mentioned um i'll try to remember the link rosie be me and target tucson girl did i talk about her in this haul no that might have been part one um i don't know guys i'll link whatever i can link check it out down below we have a mixture of maurice bloom chic i'll definitely link include my discount code Walmart, Target, let me know what you think of the part two fall's favorites. I love fall fashion. I love fall decorating. I do love fall. I don't want you guys to think because I was complaining. I just love summer. I am a summer baby. My me and Joe's anniversary is in the summer. I love the long days. I love, go, I just love the heat. But I do enjoy fall. You know, I'll stay home. I'll read a good book. I'll go apple picking. I'll go pumpkin picking. I like every season. I'm not a fan of winter, but I do like seeing the Christmas lights. I like it during Christmas time. After that, no thanks. But I do like to just enjoy each season. Just to me, it was still summer. Even though it's not summer. When you're watching this, summer's over. But technically, it's still summer till Saturday. But to me, it's like once I go back to work after Labor Day, it's basically fall. The weather is cooling down here. The sun is literally setting as we speak. And it's only 645. I did love when it was out till 830. But soon the time's going to change. It's going to go down to like 430. Which I'm blessed. At least I work at a school. I get out at three. I still see a little bit of sun. Some of you guys, that, especially the ones that work like nine to five, you never see the sun. <coughs> Except on your way to work. But that is it for this video. Part two will be going up on a Sunday since part one went up on a Sunday. I just wanted to get these up ASAP because it's fall now. And I know you guys want to buy these items like now. If you buy from any of my links, I really appreciate it. If you use the blue shoot code, I really appreciate it. Let me know what your favorite item is. How do you like to dress for fall? What's your favorite stores? Um, Monday and Tuesdays are unboxings and hauls. Wednesday is my What's Up Wednesday. Thursday is book club videos. Friday is a vlog or a review or a room tour. I definitely want to do some decorating. Hopefully I can get that filmed. I have like tons of shit to film, guys. I got a little behind because I had to get a new phone. So that kind of stopped things a little bit. And then, you know, I'm back to work. I'm adjusting. And then, anyway, Saturdays is outfits of the week. The clothing hauls will probably go in on Fridays. 
between the blogs and stuff. We shall see. Just subscribe. You know, why not? There's over a thousand of you now. Super exciting. Love you all. Love your support. Be safe.